Here are some interesting facts about the dinosaur Acrocanthosaurus, a very interesting predator with unique characteristics. Acrocanthosaurus atokensis was a very large megatheropod dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous North America, specifically Texas 120 million years ago. It is a large carcharodontosaurid, related to Allosaurus and would have had similar attributes. It may even be possible that Acrocanthosaurus had a sickle claw based on fossils from its relative Meraxes hegus. It's still relatively a mystery what these sickle claws could be used for. They were not as pronounced as a Dromaeosaurid sickle claw, being more similar to that of terror birds. They may have been used to dispatch injured down prey, hold on to things, or to cut up flesh. Acrocanthosaurus's size was very large, as the biggest individuals would have reached sizes of over 11 meters in length and almost 6 tons in weight, approximately half the size of T-Rex. Acrocanthosaurus was the apex predator of its ecosystem, with the second largest predator in the ecosystem being Deinonychus, dozens of times smaller. So Acrocanthosaurus had little to no actual competition. Acrocanthosaurus had a powerful bite force for slashing prey, with forces up to 20,000 newtons. Acrocanthosaurus's arms were armed with claws but they were still fairly small, and would not be used often for attack. They are thought to have a small range of flexibility, but due to technological restraints, it's entirely possible that the flexibility of theropods is woefully underestimated currently. There are footprints to suggest that Acrocanthosaurus may have hunted and stalked sauropods, as they were the best suited prey for a large predator like Acrocanthosaurus, which had sharp weaponry but low speed. Dinosaurs it may have hunted may have been Tenantosaurus, Sauroposidon, and other large prey. Acrocanthosaurus is sort of thought as a precursor to T-Rex, as it filled the same niche as T-Rex in the same area millions of years before T-Rex evolved. A possible relative LF Acrocanthosaurus in the Jurassic is the dubious Vetter Eupristisaurus, which lived in Tanzania and was smaller at around 3 tons and 10 meters. Although Vetter Eupristisaurus was still a giant theropod for Jurassic standards, approaching sizes of Torvosaurus and Saurophaganax. And let's not forget the most iconic feature of Acrocanthosaurus, its sail. While its sail was not as pronounced as the likes of Spinosaurus, its sail was still fairly large and may have been similar to modern bison, as they had space for muscle attachments. They were a long line of neural slines on the back forming a hill-like shape. There are multiple different interpretations of the use of the sail. It could be for distinguishing each other, to store fat, or to regulate its body temperature, similar to Stegosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus was a magnificent animal that doesn't get a lot of media love, although it has shown up in Dinosaur King and Primal Carnage. It was one of the largest carnivorous animals to ever walk the earth and would have been a real sight to see. It's the largest North American theropod before Tyrannosaurus appeared and a terrifying creature. Thanks for watching the video.